Caravan Salon 2018. This is Roller Team's 232 motorhome, which has a rather unusual layout inside. So let's have a look at it. But first of all, I'm going to give you uh, details of the price because you might decide it's not worth, watch worth watching any further. In this case, it's six, more than 64 and a half thousand euros. Low kickoff price is 62,000. This is the Triaka 232 TL. I'll give the dimensions if I could find out where they were. Okay, I've got some information here for you. It's uh, just over three tons, so that will give you just under 500 in uh, payload. And that's got the bed sizes. Never mind. Uh, oh, I'll, oh, sorry, Alison Langer, sorry. It's 599 centimeters uh, in length and it's 235 in width. Although I think, actually, I could have probably told you that if I just looked at it properly. Right, so what can you see here? It's got a double floor. It's got a bin in the door. It's got a window in the door. It's got a couple of steps up. And in the double floor, you've got storage. There's some more storage. Now, so you've got a lot of space here. What's the problem? Got a bed up there. Will the bed go up any further? I don't know. Is that the max or isn't it? Because if that's the max, it, it's 175 centimeters of clearance. Which I think for most people, you probably want a bit more than that. Okay, let's have a look at the front here. You've got plenty of storage space. It looks like a bookshelf up there, doesn't it? Really? Sort of thing. And uh, let's see what else is here. Well, it's a bit of a uh, unusual, actually, uh, locker there. But okay, they're using it, which is uh, use the space, get as much space of it out of it as you can. But on the subject of space, you've got this huge amount of space at the back, which is pretty good, really, considering this vehicle is less than six meters in length. So, coming to the back here, what have we got? Three burners. And that, I would say, is of a standard you would expect in a vehicle which is much longer than this one. Oops. This, however, is quite heavy. I'm trying to use it with just one hand. Now, that is supposed to slide into there and stay up like that, I think. And only this one's been put in the wrong way around. Or is it the wrong size? Or is it something else? Don't know. Okay, there's a bad, either a bad mark for that or you'd have to work that one out later. Uh, I think these things are supposed to be opened with two hands. Of course, I've got one hand on the camera, so that makes it difficult. There's, there's the proof. Look, I'm holding with one hand. There you go. I can't hold it with two. Or well, I can hold it with two, but I, I need two to open these things. Right, what's in here? There's your, your, your bin for your, um, your rubbish. It's not a very big bin, of course, but uh, most motorhomes give you something like that. And there's your sink. It's relatively large, really. And it's got a domestic bin down there. Right, so you've got a bit of preparation space up there as well, really, so that's pretty good. Got a ledge here. Got a ledge with a rather thick piece of wood there. So you get some storage there. Don't know what the point of that is. Hmm. I think that wood though is too thick. I can feel it's very light, but hmm. uh, I think it should be a bit thinner. Anyway, that's my opinion. I know I've got mistakes. Look, oh, some mistakes. Uh, I've got things like that in my van as well. Right. Well, this comes out, and this has a pantry behind it. Well, it should come out. Okay, I'm not going to pull it too much. Uh, what about this? Does this come out? Hmm. So, it doesn't. Maybe it's locked somehow, or somebody's glued it in, or maybe the van wasn't finished before they brought it here. I don't know. Corner bathroom. Six metre long van, remember? Look how big it is. I mean, that isn't bad at all. I can't complain at that. Big mirror. 
you've got a sink there, there's your toilet. Okay, and through here we've got the wardrobe. Sorry, that's not the wardrobe, that's a, um, that, that's a fridge. You can tell the difference because the fridge is cold and it runs off uh, gas or electricity, depending on where you are. There's, a, there's your wardrobe, that's not the fridge, so don't put your ice cream in there. Well, that's a wardrobe, because that's got a bar at the top. Right, okay, so let's get this right now. That's the wardrobe, it's got a bar. That is not the place to keep your ice cream in, uh, because it, and it's not the place you'd hang your coats from, because it hasn't got a bar at the top. And what's this here? Is it a spare bedroom? No, it's another wardrobe. There we go, so we sorted that one out now. Right, so you've got lots of room in here. I mean, quite honest, for if you're going to any length of time, this is a pretty good uh, van for as far as space is concerned, because you really do have uh, lots and lots of space. Look, you've even got a pretty big uh, freezer compartment in there. Six meter van. And look at all the seating space you've got here as well. Now, um, I've got lots of headroom above me right now. Here, I'll show you. Plenty of headroom up there. So, the question is, this electric bed, will it go up any higher or not? I don't suppose it's going to work. There you go, we can put the key in somewhere. At uh, Progetto 2000. Okay, um, doesn't doesn't go up any further than that. We well, can see though from the how far it comes down. Look at that. That comes down quite some way. Now it's nice to have the possibility of leaving the covers on, of course. Uh, so you don't have to strip the bed down every morning. If you fancy a quick snooze in the afternoon or something, just pull it down quickly and you don't have to, to make anything. My problem's with the head height. It's just not enough head height there, I think. Now, if you're short, then it, it won't make that much difference. But if you're at my height or above my height, then it will do. Right, alternative, you know, you've got another bed down here by the looks of things. So that will come out, and you pull that across, and you have a, uh, what's it called? Um, pull, pull me down or something? Pull down, pull down, but I can't remember the word is now. It's a sofa bed. Right, uh, let's have a look outside. So in there you've got the uh, garage. Now the thing is you're not going to get much in the garage. It's a heated garage at that. Can't get the bike in. So if you want to have a bike, you're going to have to put it on the rack. The back, and you see it's already been prepared for this purpose. Now I have filmed this van in the past. This is the 2019 version, which actually does look rather similar to the last one I posted. Uh, you see from up here you've got that really big roof vent which I think is great. This is a, I would say this is more or less an alternative van. Uh, it is somewhat unusual. You know, with vans, it depends what you want. What this has, what this has is uh, space inside. If you don't mind making the bed or pulling the bed down every day if you don't mind the lack of head height right so plenty more vans on my channel should you be so interested